Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I'm looking over there, so nobody was with a rifle, with a scope, <laughs> a sniper, a uh, snapper. Uh, here we have an article, actually I have two, talking about uh, Xi Jinping, the president of China, who will visit the um, uh, isolated Putin uh, in Moscow. So Xi Jinping of, of uh, China comes to Moscow to meet his brother in Moscow. Putin, right? Okay, well, uh, as I told you, these guys are uh, already, the club is already, they just, the paperwork is done, they just have to put their signature the signatures on. So, and after Xi Jinping visits uh, Putin next week, he agreed to see Zelensky Stein, okay? I don't know if sp uh, speak with Zelensky Stein, not to uh, meet him, I'm not sure yet. So let's read this article, because I didn't read it before. So this is from Fox News, and I got the other one from Ukrainska Pravda. Uh, let's start with Fox News. Xi Jinping to speak with Zelensky after meeting Putin in Moscow. Report. China, China President Xi Jinping will speak with Ukrainian blah, blah, blah. Zelensky after traveling to Moscow to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin next week. The leaders have yet to set a specific date for a call. All right, call. That's good with Zelensky. But it will most likely take place after the trip in Moscow, according to the Wall Street Journal. The call will be the first time Zelensky and Xi have spoken since Putin invaded Ukraine in February 2022. Okay, and I'm quoting here. I believe that the fact that China started talking about Ukraine is not bad, Zelensky said after China proposed its agreement. Uh, and I'm quoting, but the question is what follows the words. The question is in the steps and what they will lead to. Well, I know what you expect, uh, money and uh, his vote. And I don't think it's going to give you either. So let's see what Ukrainska Pravda said. Is anything here? Uh, no. It, no, it's nothing here. It's the same thing. Background, Reuters. March 13, the Chinese President Xi Jinping planned to travel to Russia to meet his counterpart Vladimir Putin as soon as next week. On February 24, 2023, the Chinese Foreign Ministry published what it called a peace plan, which Zelensky just took a dump on it, outlining China's ideas concerning the settlements of uh, Russia's war against Ukraine. He was just trying to help. But anyway, since they're the bad dudes, uh, but they're the bad dudes if they don't give them money and agree with them. If they uh, you know, give them money and agree with them, uh, not necessarily both of them, uh, it's a good enough, you're a good dude. The plan includes the following points. Respecting the sovereignty of all countries, including Syria, abandoning the Cold War mentality and seizing uh, hostilities. In December 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that he would like to meet the Chinese president in Moscow in 2023. Yes, and since they're buddies, they will meet. And uh, you see, it would be a big mistake if uh, China, and I, th I know Chinese are not idiots. Uh, they're not yet, they don't have uh, the mental idiocracy to uh, shoot themselves in the foot. Therefore, I'm pretty sure they weren't gonna stick with this plan. This is actually the only plan. Uh, and the plan is you gotta stay, stick with Russia and create the other the other club. You can't just uh, throw Russia under the bus right now. You know why? Because you're gonna be there with Russia next. So with Russia, you have a chance. Without Russia, I don't think you have a chance. A chance, not a chance. With Russia, you have a good chance. Without Russia, you, uh, I don't think you're gonna have much of a chance. Why? Because if Russia loses from the Chinese perspective, then you're going to be next, I guarantee you that. And then uh, all everything that was created by you and Russia will just crumble because everybody will say, oh, Russia fell, these guys are not supporting. That means, I love you, United States. I, uh, you didn't understand what I was doing with them. I was not with them. I was always with you. What do you want me to do? Oh, again? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, that's what they will do. 
So uh, in this case, uh, China knows that. So we'll have to support Russia as much as possible because Russia, as of now, it's much, much a better option than United States. From United States is going to come blackmail, uh, threats, regime change and invasion. But invasion like a proxy war in Ukraine. That's how it's going to be. But in this case, we'll be in the Taiwan area or uh, Korean Peninsula, that area. So then uh, you're going to fight that alone because these guys are not going to let you be. No, 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 you can't. It can be only one. Here, only one is already there. And unfortunately, that only one doesn't like to be, uh, you know, doesn't like diversity all of a sudden. Doesn't like um, democracy all of a sudden. Doesn't like inclusion and equity. Everything that they were told here that we have to agree with, which is BS, we know is BS, uh, they don't do it in real life. Why? Because in real life, all those things that I told you are not actually, uh, as we say here, our strengths. No, they're not strengths. Sometimes there is, There's, there is, you know, inclusion in certain kind of situations to kick someone's butt. That's a good thing, you know what I mean? I mean, it would help. Uh, that's why inclusion in that. But include someone so that th that person can dilute you and your values. I don't want that. Or I don't know. Do you want someone else to tell you what to do? I don't like that. Do you like it? Well, if you like, why don't you come over? Bring me some money. Go and do some shopping for me. You know, uh, you don't like that. I guarantee you that. So you don't. We don't like unless we're really beta. You know, beta, beta male. All right. If we're beta, we agree. Other people should tell us, and we go, okay, I'm gonna do it. Or weak. You know, weak sims. Uh, in this case, we're not that. So we don't like to be told. We do what other tell people do it because we want, otherwise we will not do it. And we do it because otherwise it's going to be some consequences and we don't like the consequences. Or we like the consequences and therefore we do it. Like you go to a, a job and you got a good pay job, paying, paying job, right? And you go over there and the, whomever tells you to do something, you like that because it's about money. That's how you get the money working for that company. Maybe, maybe you like the job. Maybe you like the environment. No. They say now, they call it culture. They like the office culture. Inclusion, love, and... That's what it is, my friends. That's what it is. It's fake, fake, fake. And not only fake, it's hypocritical. They tell you to uh, this, to... Uh, start, start from that. When they tell you about uh, diversity, inclusion, and equity, and they tell you about, uh, how they call it, uh, systemic this and systemic that, look at them. And look who's talking direct experience, okay? Look who's talking. They tell you, oh, inclusion, yeah, equity. What do you mean equity? These guys are overrepresented. What are we gonna do about it? Well, they are from the good group. If they would be overrepresented from the bad group, then <laughs> gotta do something, a systemic here, something is not right. Including the patriarchy and all that bullshit, all right? So anyway, uh, Xi Jinping is gonna talk to Zelensky, I think like, uh, uh, grandfather talks to a toddler and then he's gonna say well nothing new here thank you very much I tried I don't I, I, he knows exactly what he's gonna get from Zelensky Zelensky Stein is gonna tell him the same bullshit that tells everybody else you can't you can't um, uh, negotiate or argue logically with that guy because he tells you this is the way it is and I'm going to do this am I doing right yeah he's a clown he's an actor he has to do that He's going to tell him, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. You pay out. Okay, you pay and you owe me. Everybody owe me. You, after all, who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, uh, like uh, Nigel Farage. Remember that video uh, in, the, in the European Council or whatever that was, where he said, talking about the Rumspoy, Rumpoy, whatever his name was, the Belgian guy. Who are you? He said. I never heard of you. <laughs> and uh, he's over there. Rumpoy. <laughs> yeah, but he got to be the president of the European whatever commission he got. And he's a weasel. And Barroso too. And all this. Now van der Leyen. You, if those guys are over there, how do you expect things to, to be, I don't know, efficient and right and civilized? How? I mean, you can't have a civilized and normal country with Biden over there or Kamala Harris. Come on, come on, come on. Imagine that you have a loser as your 
uh, let's say the leader, you, you go in a commando, okay, and he's your commander in uh, you know, a mission, and he's a semi, you want that, he's gonna get you killed in no time. You, you, when you jump off the truck or from the wherever you are parachuted, you don't touch the ground and you're already dead. Before you, I'm gonna jump down from the truck to go. And you jump, before you touch that, you touch it, you're dead because the guy already shot you because he planned so well the deployment that they were already waiting for you over there. You can't, it can't be a, a, a country, a society, a group, an organization to function well with an incompetent leader or leaders. It can for a while. And believe me, they got to that point, not because of them. Look at the Nordic states. They're not, oh, Sweden, Norway, Finland, rich. Yeah, the Nordic states. They didn't do it uh, with their socialist agenda. They suck now what the, the, the capitalist, and they say, we're not capitalists. We just suck the energy from the capitalists. That's what they do. And we disperse it equitable. And if Norway would, Norway would not have the oil that it found over there, Norway would be already bankrupt like Sweden almost, with the benefits and all that. But you don't believe me? I hope. And Well, it, it's fine that they got uh, that uh, patch of oil over there and they suck it dry. That's good. But when it's done, you got to come with something, you know. And if you're a communist, you're going to look around who should you, you rob now. Uh, who should we tax? But it's no more. They all left the country. What do you want? Uh, um, I guess we gotta work. Work? What's that? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't expect anything from Zelensky and uh, Zelensky, Stein and uh, Xi Jinping. Zero, zero. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.